I literally haven't filmed in for so long. Good, don't know if it's morning or afternoon, every day is colliding with one another at the minute and love and hugs and positivity to everybody who's uh, got children in lockdown. Today, I am going to be doing a sort of like a review on the new, well, it's not really new actually, but I'm going to be doing a review and using the Pumpkin Spice Palette by Too Faced. Look at that. Some lovely colours in there. I don't know what I'm feeling today. I might go for the burnt orange look. Here comes one. Um, I might go for a burnt orange look today, yeah. but then I'm feeling purple, or I might add a bit of everything, to be honest, just to try it all. <laughs> right, so I'm going to start with priming my eyes. So I'm going to be using just a concealer I can't be bothered with an eye, eye primer don't know where my one is actually really don't need a lot excuse you know um you really don't need a lot because a lot a little goes a long way i was going to be using one of my concealer brushes just to blend that in over my lid right. so I am going to just press that in just to make sure that there's no crease. You know, I really don't know what I'm feeling today. I'm literally just winging it. I'm just going to go in with my Morphe. It doesn't say. It's just a little one. For my outer corners. So for my base colour, I'm going to go for... I don't want to do something earthy. I'm always doing something earthy. Right, let's go in with Ginger Spice. No. Yeah, so it. It's going with ginger spice. So that's that one here. Might even add pinks and stuff. I'm just going to see how we go. How we go. So. See how well this goes on. It's going to literally stamp that on. Wow, that's bright. That's so pigmented. Hardly any fallout, although some is expected, obviously. Wow. Wow, that's bright. So, I'm just going to bring... Oh, do you know what? I'm even feeling a halo. I might even do a halo today. I'll just see where it takes me. So, I'm going to bring that down. Stamping that into the inner corner. I might do a cut crease. I don't actually know. I'm, as I say, I'm loving how this is going on. It's not patchy. It's going on really, really well. You're going to look like a nutcase. But next, I'm going to... I'm going to go in with Pumpkin Spice for the transition colour. So I've got my Morphe M577. Look how well that picks up on the brush. I'm loving it. Right, so literally just going to actually, first of all, I'm going to get a blender brush and just buff out. those harsh edges ready for the transition colour so you don't have such a harsh line this is gonna be a look there we go right so now I'm gonna go in with pumpkin spice this one here I mean, there's so many looks that you can do with this. So I'm just literally just going to transition this up to where I've just blended out. Yeah, 
No, I'm not. I'm just going to literally do it. I think I'm just going to do a cut crease. I am loving how pigmented these are. Look at the colour. It is insane. I'm going to get the same blender brush. Make sure I'm not adding any colour. I'm literally just smudging those two together. So there's no harsh line. So it literally just blends in as one. Wow. Wow. I'm feeling I want a little bit more depth. I don't know what I'm going to do in the centre yet. Do I want a shimmer? I'm feeling a shimmer. I might even do the pit. I might even do crisp, you know. See what crisp is like. I'm intrigued. This one I'm intrigued by as well, which is full vibes. First of all, I'm going to add uh, a bit more depth. So we're keeping it more orangey, burnt orange. So I'm going to go for Spice Spice Baby, which is this one here can't even see that one so it's just a little bit darker than the ones that i've used just stamp that into the outer corners for a little bit more depth i'm not going to go all the way i'm just going to go to the center a little bit uh, i don't know if it's going to be dark enough actually here we go here comes the uh, five thousand million mums a day yes Yes. Yeah. Just agree and they go away. I'm going to get a clean blender brush. And just blend that back out where you've put the darker colour. Next, I'm going to do my cut crease. I need my little mirror for this. I like to put a little bit where you think your natural crease is, but then I look up and then it should stamp where it naturally falls. Oh my God, this light is so bright. I can't see. And then that will give you a nice even cut crease as well. Shit. right there we go right so there's your cut crease so i'm going to just pick it up on my finger oh, look at that i hope the camera is picking that up that is just like wow omg oh my god look at that Wow. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented and stamp on like it is actually in the palette. I thought it was going to be more translucent. So that was full vibes. Sweetie pie. It's not a usual shade that I would use, but it's nice with full vibes. So I'm going to go with sweetie pie. straight away picks up so well right so it's gonna bring that under it's not going on it's not as pigmented as the other ones to be honest with you so let's see if we can build it up and i'm gonna go in with a bit of full for it so that's that one it's not quite pink, but it's not quite orange. It's like more of a coral. So okay, go in with that one. Mm. Let's see what this does. Smudge those two together. With the transition here, I'm literally going to get what one? I'm gonna get sweetie pie on a flat brush and literally just do a tiny little line and smudge those two together.
anybody else's kids constantly arguing doesn't it make you feel proud but at this point i'm going to leave the shadow and i'm going to go on to eyeliner it's the morphe ink felt tip liquid liner and i love it it's one of my new favorites it's this it's the felt tip it's just it literally just glides on so well and it is so pigmented so flexible as well it doesn't you don't have to it's not just still all the way across it just goes with however you're doing it eyeliner done i am now going to do i add coal yeah, sod it. Let's go all out. This is from Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil 24 7. Waterproof, long lasting. Right, so let's just put that in the waterline. Bollocks. What lashes am I feeling? I'm going to use some that I haven't actually used. I got the Molly May Tatty Lashes. So I'm going to try them. They look quite nice. I haven't actually used these ones yet. Make sure it goes a bit tacky. Wave it around, blow it, whatever you want to do. Actually, tell a lie. Edit, 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 edit. Right, so I'm just going to put a tiny bit of... Mascara, just coat those lashes a little bit. Oh, you bastard. Looking a little bit more human with some lashes on. Next, I ain't done my brows, have I? Now I'm gonna go on to the base. I've already prepped, I've already hydrated. I used Clinique. Moisture Surge, amazing. And I also tried the Elephant Cosmetics. It was only a tester. But it was the Drunk Elephant. And it was the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Strengthen plus moisturise. And it actually feels quite nice. So I whacked some of that on. So I'll be purchasing that soon. I am going to go in with my Morphe Foundation. And it is literally that straight away such a nice foundation it's not dry into the skin or anything at either but i have deeply deeply moisturized beforehand which is obviously key as you all know and plus i dermaplaned last night so my skin is completely smooth as a baby's ass beauty blender and just tap that in you can see the wires i am waiting for <clears throat> a delivery on some concealers so today i'm just going to go with the one that i've used throughout this whole look you really don't need a lot of this it literally just goes so far as much as you need there's probably a little bit too much as well because you really don't need a lot do you know what though even though it's full coverage that fuck us did ain't getting covered so i'm gonna blend these just to set and get rid of all this shine underneath i'm gonna set all that now with charlotte tilbury and then i'll go in with i'm not gonna come off to contour today because i'm thinking about i'm just trying to do the eyes so i'm just gonna literally go ahead and set that with my fluffy may sky beauty brush and this will just make it just nice and matte look at the difference in that shine and that's the charlotte tilbury 
airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder and it just takes away that glare it's amazing i love it i'm gonna go in with a little bronze Feels really weird filming again. Before I get back to it, because I actually miss doing it. It'll be easier when the kids are back at school. Whenever that may be. So far, I actually I'm quite impressed with this palette. I don't know if the camera just picked that up, but I swear I just heard a wolf. False alarm. It was just a dog. <laughs> so. That's near enough done. I'm actually quite digging this look. And. To finish. I'm going to use a little bit of. That's what you get. For not having your proper stand out. So I'm going to get my. Benefit cookie. Highlight. Just crumbled everywhere. Bit on the nose. Bit on the bridge. Cupid's bow. I do love this highlighter. I wanted the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills new highlighter but it's out of stock so i'm not happy about that you can go in with your fingers i like to use a bit of both and then with my finger i'll get my pinky and i just like to put a tiny bit under my brow just to highlight that brow bow beautiful and then I am basically done. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe Mini Contour Continuous Setting Mist. This is a mini. Tip of the day. Buy the minis before you try, before you commit to full price. Oh, it smells amazing. Using the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. Overall, I like it. I do like it. It's true to its colour in the palette. It's not too translucent. It goes on really nicely. Super pigmented. So yeah, I like it. Although, I haven't done a lip. Rewind. I've actually ordered the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I say Anastasia because it sounds... <laughs> More posh. It's got 12 lipstick glosses in it and I am so excited to try it but that will have to be another tutorial because I haven't actually received it yet. So I am going to just go in with a gloss, nothing major, get one of my Iconics and I'm feeling because it's a bit more, I'm going to go in with the Peekaboo. I'm not going to do anything major. Squack a bit of gloss on because it's got a bit of a colour. And this is a plumping one as well. And it gives you a little bit of a tint. Without too much colour. Let me know what you think. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely weekend. And I'm going to try and do videos every couple of days because you know. Let's all face it, I've got the time at the minute. And I've got quite a lot of palettes on the way, which I'm really excited about. Uh, let me know if you want any other looks or any other combos. Laters!